Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like, I feel like uh, the 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 want is there. Uh, we want to be able to, you know, do more than we did last year. Uh, so, you know, that that involved pushing the standard and being able to, you know, decipher the difference between what what we did last year and this year. I feel we felt like last year wasn't good enough. So, you know, we've we've done more during the off season. So, uh, it's, it's no surprise to us. Um, you know, we feel like we feel like we're able to go in and compete with every single team if we're able to accomplish what we can on our side of the ball. And um, you know, I feel like we've been able to do so. From your perspective, just what has it been like kind of getting back into the routine after the weird travel schedule from Nevada? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I was okay with it. Um, you know, I was able to stay up all day on Sunday, even on the flight. So I uh, went to practice that night and um, was able to get everything done. I uh, felt like we were able to get a head start, you know, being able to, you know, get started on Sunday instead of Monday. And, uh, yeah. And just what have your impressions been so far studying BYU this week? Yeah, I mean they're they're a very physical team. I mean, um, you can tell on film that you know they're going to get after you. I mean, they're going to they're going to move around the ball, and you know they're very consistent with what they do. And you can tell that they're a disciplined team. You know, they're following every rule that you know that that's being put on that defense. And um, you know that just means that we're going to have to be able to play sound football. Jalen against Nevada, you didn't do as much option quarterback runs. Was that just not part of the game? Or? Um, yeah, I was just going whatever play that was called out there. Coach Caden called the, called those option plays at all, so you know we didn't run it. It was nothing specific. What have you learned about this group out of these last just these first three games? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, you know, no matter what happens, we're gonna go out there and fight. I mean, you know, uh, we didn't start off the game like we wanted to against Nevada. You know, they had a good game plan coming in, and uh, what did we only touched the ball about what, four times in the first half, and you know, they they kept the ball out of our hands in the first half. So you know, we went in uh, halftime, you know, made some adjustments, and I feel like you know, I feel like that shows that you know, whatever comes our way, we're just gonna keep on fighting. You look at this BYU defense. What kind of stands out to you? Yeah, I mean, I said earlier, uh, you know, very physical team, you know, very sound football and very disciplined. Is there a, like a Big 12 comparison, you think? Um, they're definitely, they're in the Big 12, so they're oh, a Big 12 sorry. team. I mean, like another team in the Big 12. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't really compare them to any other team right now because I'm focused on each team week by week. Jim, there was a play where you lined up out of wide receiver and then Nevada calls a timeout and you guys go to a different formation out of that break. Do you remember what was supposed to happen on that play? Were you supposed to get a touchdown catch on it? I was going to have a great route. <laughs> <laughs> All right, obviously look, looking forward to the home opener and, and for the conference play. Just how excited just to be back in the packed the booth. All absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, we, we need the fans out there. I mean, you know, they, they make a big difference in the in the in the, how the game goes. Uh, you know, when we went out there in Nevada, their their crowd was out there. You know, that was my first time since last year being able to feel the difference between being in a home game and being in a away game. And you know, the difference between you know you, the crowd being with you and against you is definitely there. So uh, you know, I would definitely say pack the booth. We need you guys as a Big 12 opener, and uh, let's get right. Being in Reno, a little closer to home, did you have extra family at the game? On I had 37 tickets reserved, <laughs> um, and I th believe that there were some family members who still purchased their own tickets, so I definitely had 40-plus people that were at that game. Was that hectic going into game week, trying to figure out all the ticket stuff? Uh, yes, because I had to find some teammates to be able to help me out, <laughs> so uh, I was kind of you know, scrambling around around those last few days to be able to get the tickets, but I was able to get it done. Was it nice to see a bunch of family? Does that feel good kind of in the middle, early of the season? Yeah, hey, absolutely. I mean, you know, my, my family's been very supportive since I've been in college. Uh, I believe, you know, two years ago was probably I had 28 people there, and I didn't even play in that game. So, uh, you know, my family has always been very supportive with whatever I've, with, with whatever I've done, and, you know, I, I love them for that because they're always there. So if this was already asked, but what sticks out to you about the BYU defense? Yeah, I mean, you know, they're a very physical defense. You know, they play sound football. They're very decisive with what they do, and they're very disciplined with what they're going to do. Uh, we just heard from JB that he likes to cut players' hair. Have, have you had your hair cut from him yet? I have not had my hair cut from JB. Would you? Yeah, I would, definitely. <laughs> JB, no, nah, y'all you, you, laughing. JB really can cut hair, though. Like, he, half of the team, like, most of their haircuts from JB, he really be getting people right, though. <laughs>